probably is, you know, just celebrating something. Hey, what's up everyone? This is Jaeger here, a member of PATH, and today we're visiting a very special exhibition. Everybody knows about the ancient Silk Road. It used to be a very important trading route that connected China with countries of Central and Western Asia, and also Europe and Mediterranean. And there was a very important city which used to be a conjunction on the Silk Road, and it's called Dunhuang. It witnessed cultural and religious exchanges. That's why its culture is very, very rich. And this exhibition is called Digital Dunhuang. Let's go and check it out. As an ancient city of the Silk Road, Dunhuang's history and culture are concentrated in the Mogao Grottoes. With 735 caves and 45,000 square meters of murals, it is the largest and most abundant Buddhist art site in the world. Digital Dunhuang. Guys, this is a five meter long replica of the Nirvana statue. The original statue is actually 15.8 meters and it looks very real. And you know why? Because they used a very special 3D printing technique to create this replica. And just look at the detail, it just looks completely real. Behind me is the largest Buddhist historical painting, and to make it, they took 4,780 high-resolution pictures. That's why the detail is so beautiful. Boom, 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 boom. Now, I actually can't play drums, but people in the ancient times could. How do I know? When we look at this ancient mural, we can see that it depicts people playing drums and just different musical instruments depicting the musical culture of that time. The most essential parts of Mogao Grottoes has been moved to Beijing and here we can see 50 of the most famous murals or painted sculptures. And wow, this is cave number 285. Wow. wow it truly feels like I'm in Dunghua. You know guys, this cave is number 285 and it's actually close to public because for such a long time, it has been exposed to um, the oxygen, flashlights, and just weather conditions that some of the murals began to disappear. That's why they closed it down and limited the access. But then they copied it and moved to Beijing so more people could enjoy the art from the ancient times. Do you think of a 比较好Okay, it actually really felt like I was there, in that cave. What's really amazing is that how detailed the murals were. Guys, today it really felt like I was in those grottoes in Dunhuang, and just seeing the murals and statues 
put me in the atmosphere of Dong Huang. And I just love to see how people are using advanced technology to popularize traditional Chinese culture. So I really want to go to Dong Huang and check out those caves and murals myself. Guys, that's it for this episode. I'll see you on our next one of Onsan. See you there.